Kobe Bryant dies in helicopter crash. That's what's trending on Twitter. Kobe Bryant is dead. My ties to Kobe Bryant began, I don't have the dates, years, but I don't know how many, some decades ago, when he was coming out of high school. And uh, I wanted him to be a sixer. I'm a Philly guy. I'm not from Philly, but I'm a Philly guy. Eagles, Sixers, Philly guy. And I wanted him to be a sixer, and he wasn't. He went to the Lakers, which is like the syphilis of the NBA. So he was dead to me. But, I mean, I respected the Black Mamba. A- ain't even, like, I mean, I... <coughs> and even though, I guess you could say, in a, in a sense, he was dead to me, it was, you know, the fact that he was a Philly guy, and, and most people who are Philly fans, you understand. He was a Philly guy, once a Philly guy. But also, he was kind of vocal in his support of the Eagles, so... You know, <coughs> got that bot going. Yeah, just when I I I go to make a video, suddenly I get a a dry coughing a fit. So that's cool, and I don't have liquid with me. So cool. But he uh, he was my. Uh, I mean, a source of pride for me and for Philly people in general. Like, that that came from our neck of the woods. Like, that that quality came from our world, you know? So there was some sense of attachment to him that I always had because of that. He <coughs> was never my favorite basketball player, and if anything, it was, I loathed his existence because he was a Lakers fan, his basketball existence. And then there was that trial involving a young woman who alleged whatever. I'm not going to. So that certainly put up stigmatization on on me when it came to to, to Kobe. And it began this, you know, that I can't even remember the gist of it. It's like, Kobe! Like everybody, that's what you do. Like when you go to throw something in the basket, you Kobe, you Kobe, I forget the meaning of that now, wow, I lost it, but there was that whole phase, so he's like, he's totally, I mean, he's such a, an integral part of pop culture for the last 20 some odd years, like Kobe Bryant is just Kobe Bryant, one of the most famous names on the entire planet, certainly in America, not even really, I mean, he's, he's right up there at the top. I don't know if you can be any more known than Kobe in America, at least. So, you know, years pass, and there's no more allegations and whatnots, and that's really the only thing that I've ever remembered about Kobe that was uh, questionable as far as his displaying something that might make you not trust him, essentially. And so... Uh, my view of Kobe has kind of gotten more and more favorable over the years because I haven't seen anything to follow up on that world that back then, whenever I, I don't even remember the dates, it was like the 90s maybe. I think it was the 90s, late 90s maybe. And I could be totally missing up in my head. It could be something completely different. It could be like 1920s for all I know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding about that. But he was, uh, he cemented his place in my heart. Really, in most Philly folks, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. And uh, 
I wonder if I could find that. Let's see if I can find that here. When the Eagles won the Super Bowl. And what Kobe did there. <coughs> Eagles. Whoops. Uh, Eagles win. Let's see if we got him. Here, where is it? Here we go. Watch. Right, hold, let, me, let me unmute this. Oh man, I don't have this. Uh, you can't hear. Oh, uh, let me let me let me fix this, folks. We're gonna fix this. We are going to fix this right now. Well, you know what? Never mind. I don't need to fix it. I, I'll just show you here. Where is the uh, still of him here? There is. I don't know if you could see him there. There he is. He's there with his baby. And it's just like, you could tell. See, like, we know that we know that we know that we know. The people who who have really taken in the journey, the journey of following the Eagles year after year, the sagas, the dramas, the disappointments, the heartaches, the woe, the years upon years upon years upon years of disappointment. And we had so many promises, so many hypes that turned into bust. And when he did this, it's like there's something rooted in that. Or at least we imagine it is. And I think I think we imagine probably rightly and that this uh this guy is a, a hundred millionaire so the other thing about this he's a hundred millionaire a hundred millionaire still has to take care of his baby in the middle of the night and he's doing it don't have a dang nanny he's doing it i mean there's that i mean come on that's a freaking wholesome image there that's a that's as american as it gets right there man right Right, that image? Dad in the middle of the night? I mean, it's not exclusive to America, but still. I mean, American Philadelphia Eagles fan. And you know, you know, the thing about it that I know, and I know I get, I get, I really, I mean, it's a silly thing. But is it? Uh, Kobe went through the journey with me and it's not that Kobe you know the billionaire went through it I don't mean that I mean that's someone he's my brother in a way like anybody like I feel this way about anyone if I know that you really are I mean I know and I get emotional about it it's just weird it just is what it is man if I know that you ride with the Eagles you went through that journey. See, the thing I know about you is if you know that I went through that journey with you, that you and I, we human, can't escape it. Can't fucking escape it. We can't We can't lie to ourselves. When we meet an Eagles fan, if they're black or white or gay or transgender, whatever fucking thing you are, if we know you went through that journey with us, we are a dot, you're true blue. True green, sorry. <laughs> Fuck the Cowboys and, and the and the Giants. Well, yeah. Um, we can't escape that we're humans together. Like when I meet an Eagles fan, I don't care what their political persuasion is. I know that that's a human being. I just know it. We know. We know we suffer and we rise and fall. We know we're humans. We can't escape it. We can't lie to ourselves. And that's what Kobe was my human, my fellow human. You know, I've got a lot of fellow humans for a lot of reasons. He's my brother, in a way. Yeah. You know, and I, I do consider in that world. I mean, I know you Eagles fans know what I'm talking about. And, you know, my purpose on here isn't to to say, you know, like our grief for our fellow lost Eagles fan is nothing compared to the grief of his family and people who really know him. And, and there are so many human beings that have died today. But, uh, you know, 
it's it's not that a celebrity is more important than the the your father if he died today. Uh, you know, my heart's out to you. Um, your 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 father's death is just as sad and tragic as Kobe's. He's not any more important than your father or your mother, your sister, or whoever else, your friend, whatever. Uh, but but he he. He does symbolize something. He symbolizes, you know, that, that for, well, just just amongst, you know, from this very narrow perspective, because Kobe Bryant's story is, is big. It's all, all kinds of narratives, and the Eagles fan aspect of him is probably one of the most insignificant of the stories you could tell, but maybe that's why I've chosen to tell it in a way. But what I... I chose to tell it. I chose to talk about this because I think it's it's an opportunity to talk about something well that that's leads to, you know, here's my man, my brother in 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 the green uh Kobe Bryant and and his death is like you know, one of our one of our best best awesomest like in terms of advocates with a huge bullhorn for our team and our cause is died which of course is is nothing in the scheme of things but but it it, it can still <laughs> it invokes emotionality in in many of us i'm sure for that reason alone never mind the fact that he's one of ours like he's a philly boy man one of us. And he came from where, where most of us come from. Dirt. We're fucking losers, man. We're the poors. Yeah. You don't want to see one of your own get to the highest level and just get cut down. You don't want that. That's why it hurts because it's... We want to be there. and We don't want to be cut down. Yeah. But people... We're mourning for Kobe Bryant in America today. They're a mourning a human being that they value. He, this is a man who has gravitas. People take him seriously. He's a black man in America. And, and, and just because of the numbers. For the black community, Kobe Bryant's impact on you is certainly far more than it than it is on the white community i'm not taking that away from you but in terms of sheer numbers just because there's a lot more white people than blacks even though percentage wise maybe a lot less white people will be grieving as opposed to percentage wise in the black community numbers wise it might be two or three to one as far as the amount of white people that are mourning him compared to blacks and i want to point this out because I want to finally shatter the fucking lie that this is a racist nation. This is a nation with racism. It's not a racist nation. We need Kobe Bryant and we're grieving that he's gone because he's part of our fucking American tale. And he's one of the awesomest parts. I mean, as far as we know. You know he's part of our American glory. And for us, our Eagles fan, part of our Eagle glory. And and it's gone. And and we are grieving because we think of him as a human being with gravitas and weight and importance and significance. And we grieve because we know he had so much more stuff to do. And it's... We don't want to think about a world that has the power to arbitrarily take that away from someone. And it crosses sexual, racial, religious, all of those lines. And it's what America fundamentally is. We are a people. We have to be or we all die together. We all live together or die together. And you see the grief that will sweep across this land. And you will see an America that is not a racist nation. 
an America that 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 we we have come not just to terms but we have come to understand don't let people tell you that diversity is bad we have a huge advantage over the rest of the world because of it significant but so many people want to keep us from from having whatever nuanced complex uh, conversations we need to have in order for us to uh to, to, to come across a way that all of us can feel like, you know, we're not going to be arbitrarily cut in the middle of the night in our sleep, bleed out. We want to have some degree of certainty, predictability. We don't, we don't want a world in which uh, more and more of our, our fellow humans are are put into subhumanizing categories that offer no redemption, no hope, no trial, no pro- no due process. And we'll lose all that if we continue to believe that we're a racist nation and not a nation that has racism. And Kobe Bryant is is what's happening, what I see immediately, all the outpouring, everything. Kobe Ryan is, Brian is a, a symbol of that, uh, of, of the, the grief that's happening across, across all the lines. We all lost a brother today, man, in a lot of ways. So this is who we are. And you may not like it if, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're a Democrat. You need the racist. I know for you, everybody's a racist, so I'm just saying you need the racist. And if you're a Republican, you need the Antifa. You need the commies. You do. Y'all need each other. The transgenders and the TERFs and all that shit, all of you, all of us need each other. We're going to have to come to a place where we can accept our, 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 our bad ideas. So long as our bad ideas aren't directly uh, infringing our ability to live the lives of our own choosing. Anyway. Rest in peace, my fellow Eagle brother, Kobe Bryant. Um, Yeah. I'm going to miss you, man. So we'll... uh, million other folks. God bless.